Okay, now what else? We have uh, we have to also place power, right? So we we are have we are going to have to power this somehow. So the we'll first talk about something called a net. So this concept of a net in PCBs is that there are so many connections that you have, right? So you need to sometimes name them in order to know what they are. Otherwise, when you import this schematic, import the schematic into the layout, it will be hard to understand which connection was which one. Okay. So now that you have got a hang of what a net is, I'll just show you how this is useful. Okay. I'll just go and add a power symbol. Okay. You can just, or you can just click P that will let you add a power symbol. So I'll just search 5 words because we, are, we have a 5 volt regulator and we'll search for ground. So there it is, ground. We got a ground, we got a 5 volts, right? So now I know I have to power my IC up to 5 volts, right? So here's my 5 volts. I'll connect this directly to VCC of my IC, right? Okay, there we go. Now, the ground I have that is supposed to be connected to the ground of the IC. Very simple. Let's go, place it here, all done, all good. Now, you look at this capacitor, right? We know this is a decoupling capacitor. We know this is supposed to be placed between VCC and ground, right? We will understand the purpose of it later on, but essentially, we need this capacitor. So this is to be placed between VCC and ground. Now, I if I go add a wire right here, from here to here like, like that, this is ugly, we don't like that. So what we'll do is just place another ground. And now this, every time you place the symbol, it has the same net. Okay, so now another tool I'll show you which will help you understand this whole concept of what a net is. Uh, this lets this tool lets you highlight pins which are interconnected. So if I just go on and click on ground, you see this is now highlighted with purple, purple or pink, whatever you like to call it. And you can see this is also highlighted. So this symbol named ground has the same net as this symbol which is also named ground. So this is not just up limited up to uh, say ground symbols. What you can also have is, you know, you can name certain things, like say for example, uh, I have any pin here, I want it to directly connect here. What I can do is, I just go add a wire, then I go add a net label. I'll just say, because this pin is V out, I'll say V out. I'll go connect that. So now anything, which is having the net name V out will be connected to VO of this voltage regulator. So if I have this net now, if I just copy this again and I place it right here and now if I go check what the connection is, you see this net got highlighted VO and along with that this net where you have VCC also got highlighted. Meaning you just named the, the net the same and because of that they are all interconnected. So this is a very useful thing and it also makes everything much cleaner. So going back from here, first we'll have to add the decoupling capacitors, right? So you move it here, move that here. Yeah, it looks okay. Now we just have our connections very quickly okay also now you also know the values of these capacitors right so these were 10 microfarads if I remember correctly or oh, was it 1.1 1 .1 microfarad wait a second uh, okay it's 10 microfarads so here we go uh, this is the capacitor you had 10 microfarads here also you add 10 microfarads. So here you can just essentially tell, you know, this is the symbol I have. This is the value the symbol is going to have. And this is the name of the symbol, that's C3. So that tells you this is the third capacitor. Right now you might not think this is important, but when you have say, you know, 
uh, 200 components on a single PCB, which is quite normal when you get to do some complex projects, then it will become very important. At what phase when you are doing assembly? So here I'll just also add, again add 10 microfarads. Okay, this capacitor, this was I think 0.1 microfarads. Okay, also one good piece of advice. Whenever you are starting uh, any project, before you place any component, again, hear this way, this is, this is extremely important. Before you place any component, you have to first go check if that component is available on the internet. Can you buy? Can you buy that component? You know, in some schematics, you might find, say, I need a 225 ohm resistor. But it is not necessary you will find a 225 ohm resistor online. There are some standard values that are available which you can buy. Some you can't. So just make sure whatever component you are placing or using in here that you really can manufacture. So you have that component available, you can solder it onto your PCB. Okay, coming back to uh, our project, our, our schematic. So uh, the voltage regulator is still not finished. There's, whoops, there's another part which needs to be added. What is that? That's the ground. So ground is not connected to ground. V out is supposed to be connected to 5 volts because that's how we are powering everything. So V out is now 5 volts. Also, this is a really good feature. Uh, if you just go click G, if you say click on anything and hit G, you can drag it. So if you're not breaking the connection, but you're moving the component. So just go here, click G. So you see, the connection doesn't break, but you can move your component. This is, this is very handy again. Okay, so, uh, so far so good. Now, similarly, we'll be adding uh, the resistors and LEDs here. And then we'll be also adding some headers. So I've already done that for you just to save time. Uh, here you can see the schematic looking much more cleaner. Here the, all the resistors are li lined up and the LEDs are connected and all of them are again grounded. Here for all these pins, as we discussed in the previous video, the purpose of these pins, all you need is an access to these pins. Like you have to be able to, you know, add uh, wires, which you can then run to uh, something like a breadboard and then maybe connect it to a switch or a microcontroller, up to you. So you need some sort of connection. So there's something, uh, there's a symbol. I'll just really quickly go and show you. Uh, waiting, okay. So you just search C-O-N-N and then you'll see under this C-O-N-N 01 underscore uh, across uh, 02. So, this is essentially a header. What a header is, it's like if you've ever uh, seen a breadboard, it has a certain spacing for all pins. So a header is essentially uh, a piece of metal that you can connect to a PCB or to you know your uh, micro any, any PCB essentially, which then can go into uh, something like say a breadboard. Uh, the breadboard has a very specific pitch, the, that's the spacing between the two pins. So we'll be using the header which that uh, which has that spacing. So, but, but before that we need to have a symbol which shows that hey this is supposed to be connected to something like a header. So we in our case uh, have already placed the header and same way we uh, added uh, net labels to each of these things. So later on you will understand how important this is. Uh, Again, now coming back to this uh, schematic, there is also two uh, two header pins for the connection to your uh, voltage regulator. Purpose for this very simple: you need some terminal through which you are going to power everything. So you have, if you have a battery, it's, it's got two wires. How do you connect these two wires to your PCB? There is a terminal for that, or there's a header for that. So these are those two pins. Okay, so. As of now, this whole schematic looks, looks good to me. The only thing missing here is that I forgot to add the values. All right. Okay. So as you can see here, we have the IC, you got all your uh, resistors, you got all your LEDs. 
everything is powered up there's a terminal also which will help you uh, you know connect your battery or power source to this device also there's something you could uh, add to all of this that is a diode right if you just search d you'll get a diode so okay again i click r i can rotate now i want this to go along here so i'll just click here click g and drag take the diode move it okay so you place the diode so now you can see the diode is placed along this path where you have uh, the input so this is the supposed to be the positive terminal so uh, the p junction of my diode is going to be connected here and then this will only let the current flow in one direction so if any uh, anyone by mistakes uh, by mistake connects the wires uh, from the supply the, with the reverse polarity it won't damage your device that is what this diode is for so this is just a simple way to protect your whole device okay uh, now i feel that this whole uh, schematic looks complete now we can go into the phase where we actually start laying out the board so uh, in this video let's sum it up we learned how to use some of the tools which are present in schematic editor so what we learned today we learned how to place uh, any symbol we learned how to place any power symbol we learned how to place a wire again there are stuff like you know adding a junction so you see this circle right here that's a junction so you have say two wires crossing you want to connect them that's a junction so i just go here place a junction that will be that okay all right so apart from that there is also something called a no connection flag so when you have like in this case we have this pin qh dash that's not connected to anything so while you are going while you are uh, doing the routing that is the layout part where you are physically telling where to pour the copper to your manufacturer there to for your convenience we add this to tell the schematic that you are not supposed to connect anything to this pin even if this pin exists this is just the complement output of qh so if qh was one this would be zero and vice versa so uh, now again if you want to even go check things you can use the highlighter just go check so you see here uh, voltage the power supply comes in from here goes through the regulator then goes out of regulated 5 volt output this is also having the same net as this uh, 5 volt symbol now that is connected to the vcc of your ic everything is powered up all the grounds are same as you can see they are highlighted right so this is looking clean uh, i don't see any issues with this uh, schematic so again in the next video we'll talk about how do you um, uh, actually do footprint assignment so next whole video will be about what a footprint is how do you assign a footprint why do you even need footprint assignment and many more such things so we'll discuss in that in the next video and goodbye for now so that's it for now guys like the video and subscribe to the channel and do share it among your friends and press the bell icon to get notified with such videos as and when they are uploaded